Ooh, be honest. Okay. Have you and Austin almost ended it? And what made you come to your senses? <laughs> <laughs> we're live um all right what are we doing right now well uh hilariously enough we ended last our last podcast talking about how hungry we were and how yes. all this well now we're really hungry we are really hungry we ended the last podcast uh have only had one meal since then Re- no oh, wait, no, no we had we had uh more time in between but okay. But we are, we're almost 24 hours into our three-day fast. Into our three-day fast. I have definitely regret making the decision. For me, it's not that I'm like starving. Yeah. I just, I'm like, you know what? Like, why? Like, I feel like I... For health. Yeah, but like, I'm healthy. Like, I do other healthy things. So I really need to do a three-day fast to be healthy. Yeah, it's good for you. It's good mentally, too. Well, no, I'm, that's why I'm doing it. Yeah. I am doing it with you. Yeah, 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 But there's no piece of you that's like. I'm actually happy. I'm happy doing it. I'm excited. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. To, uh, yeah, my feelings like afterwards and stuff. I feel good though. I'm not like, of course, my stomach was growling a little bit and I trained this morning and stuff, but I feel good now. Well, no, I feel good too. But like with anybody fasting. There's got to be a piece of you that's like, you know, and I could just eat. Yeah, I'm not to that point yet. Okay, all right. Then you're better than everybody else. <laughs> no, I'm not saying everybody. that. I just, I feel good right now. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so we're at the gym the other day, and we're doing bench press. Uh, so <laughs> I thought this was really funny. So I was super excited because I was repping 85 pounds. Yeah. Which I was stoked on because I don't, I mean, I don't bench very yeah, often. So it was yeah. like a good um, starting weight for me, I guess. And so I'm like repping it for six. I feel good. And then all of a sudden I look over and I notice like what you were benching. Yeah. And I realized, and I told you that I can't even put up what you can rep with one hand. Because you were doing dump, two dumbbells. Yeah. You were doing 200 pound dumbbells so yeah, you're repping yeah. 200s i can't even bench total well i think i can now yeah you can okay yeah what yeah. you were doing i with think one you hand. can yeah. and then you said no no you can't <laughs> <laughs> yeah at the time i was like yeah you can't no you can't you can't but... which i can i can yes. do more than 85 pounds i figured out but that's just what my weight was because we were going for it was like i think it was reps of like six to twelve or something yeah. like that so yeah um, I thought that was really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought it was like a little bit of a way to brag about you repping two hundred pounds. <laughs> and I feel like such a dick after <laughs> I'm talking about this fasting. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Feel it. great. You can rep hundreds in each yeah, hand. Yeah, I. I fasting I'm just better. I'm better. You're than a everybody. superior yeah. human. Fasting doesn't affect you. You're just in a great mood. If you know me, you know that I do not really feel, or I do not think of myself like that. I'm a I like to think I'm a very humble person. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, I had wrote down to start with who's punching below the belt. Okay. So obviously we <laughs> kicked it off with kind of a funny um, funny thing between us. Well, this one's going to be between us as well. Oh, boy. Here we go. We're both hungry, a little bit irritable. And, yeah. We yeah. might as well just kick it off with who's punching below the belt okay and this is uh this turned into a fight of ours okay we're not fighting anymore we're over it we're happy yeah but (laughs) we're coming home from the gym and i feel like this may have been the exact same day but maybe not so we're driving home from the gym we're in the car yeah things are good you lean over and you kiss me and you're like hey you had bad breath for like a week straight were you taking like <laughs> medication or something? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why'd you have bad breath for like a week straight? Were you <sighs> taking medication? And my point was, I was not mad that you told me that I had bad breath. Yeah. I was mad that you went a week. 
I had bad breath for a week and you didn't think to tell me once? <sighs> I was living my life. I'm like sweaty and clammy <laughs> talking about this. I was going to the gym, living my life, uh, you know, going out and meeting with friends. Yeah. Being up close and personal with like a lot of people. Yeah. Um, And you didn't think maybe, maybe once you should tell me that I have bad breath. <laughs> you waited a uh, week <laughs> well for, I, I know i this is gonna sound crazy. i it, it's not like it was like that it was just okay so first off yeah i lent i leaned in to kiss you and and i i said what i said because i wanted to follow it up with that i just love your smell i love the smell of your breath i love the smell of your face like i kind of weird you know whatever you kiss, you know, you kiss your dog. You love yeah. the way your doggy saw. But yeah, well, same. But no, dogs have bad breath. Yes. And so then I don't know what on earth made me say what I said, but I was just like, babe, yeah. Remember that one week where you kind of had bad breath? Like what was? Well, no, I don't remember that one week because you know. never said a word. So I then know. you're just like, oh, you had, you know, were you taking like medication or something? Because yeah. you had really bad breath for a week. I, now I don't know what week that was. And yeah. so in my mind, I'm playing back like, okay, who did I talk to? Yeah. How many people was I around? How close did I get to them? I got my eyelashes done. I'm sure my lash lady didn't love breathing in my face the whole time. Oh, <laughs> like, my gosh. Think of all the people that idiot. got close to my face. I'm an idiot. Yeah. So, okay. So can we, I mean, of course, who's punching below the belt? We do want listeners to tell us who's in the wrong but can this couch come to a consensus that maybe you should if your wife has bad breath you should tell her yes yeah yeah i'm punching below the belt here yeah, yeah. because then i had also this is so funny but the time because of the timing i had seen this on instagram and i sent it to you it was uh, a podcast mm-hmm. um I just looked at like a clip on Instagram and yeah. the guy's like, all right, if your wife ever asks you if you look, if she looks bad in a dress and she does, yeah. you have to tell her. You have yeah. to. Yeah. Because if she asks you while she's like pregnant or feeling her worse, if she's beautiful yeah, and you say yes, but you lied about the dress in the past, she's not going to believe you. Yeah. No, I, that makes sense. So yeah. it's like, you have to be honest. Yeah. Because otherwise I will never believe what you say. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, f- I feel like I do tell you a lot. Like you'll, you'll try something on be like, babe, you look so good and that. And then you change and. Well, it all comes I mean, back that's to the probably bad typical, breath. Yeah. Yeah. But this was before that. Yeah. Okay. But I would say this is probably, I mean, the couples list, I'm sure it's probably pretty uh, standard for most couples. You know, the woman try. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's if you like try something on, it's like, but I'm waiting for a reaction, not just like, oh, that looks nice. Yeah. I'm, you know, like women are waiting for when we come out of the bedroom and we're like, hey, what do you think? Like first, we're, we don't want to have to ask at yes. all. So yeah. I come out in an outfit, I'm dressed up, my makeup's done, I'm like in an, in an outfit. I want you to immediately have like a response. Yeah. Saying like, fuck yeah. Like, oh, this looks good. Tell me why it looks good with like specifics. Women want to like really feel that they look good because if you're like, oh, that looks nice. And then I'll be like, "Mm, time to change. Or if you tell me like another one that I do, and I'm sure that this is a pet peeve and you don't like this. But um, when I try something on, you're like, oh, that looks pretty. When it's no, like, no, I don't, not pretty. You don't, I don't want to look pretty. I want to look hot. Sexy. You want yeah. hot. Well, yeah. it depends on the location. Like, yeah, I want to look pretty going to church. I want to look hot when I go out. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I get it. I get. Right? It. I, I feel like I do a better job. At, you do. I do a pretty good job. But be, especially because when we go out, it's like you have this whole look. You have like a neck tattoo and your hand, like your yeah, whole body's look. tatted. Yeah. You look famous. Like, got cauliflower ears. Yes. You look badass. You look famous. You look like somebody. Yeah. And I feel like I just look like a typical blonde bimbo. What? <laughs> so it's what? like, <laughs> I want to match your energy. I don't think Do anyone looks at you and thinks that you just look like some normal. Uh, anyways. Anyways, so um, tell me if I have bad breath, please. I know. 
I know. I'm so sorry. Please. Yeah, okay. I will. That's I will. what this come back, comes back to. Actually, this I is really funny. I am punching below the belt. Okay. I do agree. Yeah. So this is really funny. So okay. we have some relationship questions from fans to get to. Yeah. But somehow this actually segued perfectly into a funny little pop culture thing that I had wrote down. Okay. And the reason I felt like this applied to us is because, um, and this is kind of goes back to what we talked about last week about how how I know you're the one. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So one of the cool things that you do is one, you do help me pick out my outfits when we go out because yep. I can definitely get overwhelmed. And then two, you always make sure that I'm comfortable with like with the way we match each other, right? Like, yeah, yeah. When yeah. we go out, we're a couple. We want our outfits to somewhat like like we look like we belong together. Yeah. Or we're going on the same date. We planned this together. We're going to the same venue to yeah, get yeah. drinks we're at the same level of like spiciness i can't be in a i can't be in a tuxedo and then you you know wear like booty shorts or something yes right? like right. if you're okay. dressed up and like you have your chain on and your watch and like your nice like travis scott shoes like you're looking like a million bucks yeah i can't go out in my target dress and flip-flops yeah, yeah, yeah. like i want to be like okay i'm gonna pull out like a nice purse i'm gonna like really like match your energy yeah but and vice versa when you're wearing sweatpants like a lot of times we'll go to dinner we'll go to restaurants and we'll just both be in like yeah workout clothes and like obviously very casual just comfy yeah. comfy so um yeah just, but what's hard is sometimes I'll, I'll come out and I'll be in like a pair of sweatpants or and just because you think I look sexy, you're like, babe, why why are you so dressed up? I'm like, I'm not really. I mean, I'm, you know. You look sexy in sweatpants. I know. Wearing yeah. gray sweatpants for guys is slutty. Yeah, because you can see our penis. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> that's like dressed up, right? That's slutty. <laughs> yeah. You decided to dress the house looking like a yeah. slut today. I, I can wear some. I'll wear some funny outfits so sometimes. So. Yeah, I think like you some, look nice. Yeah, you definitely, yeah. you're stylish for sure. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm little always... Bit, little slutty, little stylish. Little slutty, little stylish. <laughs> okay. So, the, okay, this is a pop culture. So yeah. this is so dumb and I'm not sure how many people care because, I mean, I don't. I just thought it was interesting. So uh, there was like this trending picture of Haley and Justin Bieber. Yeah. And uh, I don't know why, like, you know magazines they oh, just like yeah. jump on board with like whatever so yeah. paparazzi catches them they're going out to dinner Haley's wearing like this really little teeny tiny smoking hot dress right yeah. like she's dressed to the nines awesome like heels like gorgeous yep and he's walking out with i think it's a picture with his like hoodie on and a hat on and <laughs> basketball shorts and he looks like he looks homeless mm -hmm. their energy didn't match each other so Haley was interviewed about it yeah. In her quote that I wrote, she said, we can't just sit there and be like, so this is what I'm going to wear and this is what you're going to wear. He may want to wear baggy sweats to go to dinner and I may want to wear a tiny little dress because that's how I'm feeling. Yeah. And we could not be more opposite than that. Like, yeah. awesome. Like, I love the confidence and maybe it's because Haley Bieber is a more confident person than I am. But when we go out, I want our like wardrobe and our energy to match each other. Yeah. No, you definitely, you make sure that, yeah, when we go out, we're we're on the, we're on the same. We're page on the same with, level. Yeah, and I yeah. feel like it just sets the tone for the night. Like, yeah, we want to be on the same level. Yeah, like if I'm if I'm slicked out black, I'm outfit, probably gonna wear you're, black. You're doing the same. Yeah. And if you're wearing a neon color, I can't wear like the opposing neon yeah, color. You can't wear like a plaid something, right? No, because yeah. I don't think we would match. Yeah, yeah. we would just wouldn't look like we belong together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. But I do right. love that. I think that's cute. Though. I think it's cute. Yeah, you're you're into uh you like to get matching stuff. Like I love matching recently suits. you're really into us getting like matching sneakers and mm -hmm. which I do love. I think it's matching cool. sneakers, matching sweatsuits. I like to be that couple at the airport that's like swagged <laughs> out and like yeah. we're Were both you in the one? I Did you, you send me that? Yeah, real yeah, really cute, really mm -hmm. funny. Yeah. It was this like gosh, they had to be eighty years old. Oh yeah. Eighty year old couple couple and they're both just swagged out in Gucci at the airport <laughs> yeah. both in Gucci tracksuits. Yeah. And um, I I felt like the person filming them was kinda like poking fun at yeah, them. Yeah, they were poking fun at them, but it's like they look fly. They look cool. Yeah, they looked me? awesome. They look cute. That's my dream. Yeah. That's me. That will be me and you. Yeah. Yeah. You'll probably be pushing me around in a walker, but <laughs> no, it's just I'm a, a little older. Yeah, but I'm 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 worn. 
I'm worn. I'm worn. I got a bad back. <laughs> you do. I yeah. Got a bad you back. You do have a bad back. I have a really bad back. Yeah, I might be pushing it. And I back. crack myself every day. Yeah, you're a popper. Uh, yeah, I'm like a glow stick. Yeah. Everything cracks on me. It's I feel crazy. like it's going to give me um, arthritis. Yeah. Give me some arthritis. All right, you had a relationship question for us, right? Ooh. Put me on the spot. No, we talked about this yesterday. You were just saying, like, what would be a cool thing for us to talk about is. I mean, I guess I'll just do it. Yeah, I'm... do it because now I can't remember. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. Um, you said what has been the biggest things? Oh yes. The best things that have changed in our because of us being together, and then like the or the things that have changed for the better, and the things that have changed for the worse. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh from being married. From yeah, being married. I mean, being mm-hmm. together. Being so, the best. Uh, you know, the best thing for me is truly. I'm not like a big fan of you know, being alone or doing things alone. Mm-hmm. I'd like to have somebody with me. So, you know, I've got my best friend with me to to go and do the uncomfortable things, to go, you know, sit at the doctor, to go do <laughs> shit like that. Like, to make you pay. Stuff I do not like to do. And to make you pay your uh, student loan bills. To make me pay my student loan <laughs> bills. <laughs> I just got a letter. <laughs> that, Today? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we talked about this on the podcast, how that student yeah. loan bill is stressing me out. Yeah. Has it been paid yet? It does not. No, we just got another letter. Yeah. Because I I feel like I'm being wrongly charged for something. But <laughs> anyways, you have to call it's been like 10 years since I went to school. Yeah. I, I know I did. I sent an email. But, okay. So yeah. that's one thing that has changed for the better. Yeah. Can having, you? Having my, having like my right hand, you know. Well, man. Having a person. Having my person with yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, all Not right. Being alone. Do you want to go ahead with what you think has changed for the worst? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Uh, no, I don't wow, mean it ready. like that. Okay. Uh, it's, it really isn't that bad because honestly, like for me anyways, mm-hmm. uh, the having the ability to just at any time I want go pick up that beautiful little Xbox controller of mine and start <laughs> clicking all the way and and uh you know game for six seven eight okay ten hours <laughs> let's but, be honest with the world you do do that yes I now do. you just I get know. guilt tripped for it i do but i pretty much but do you, you see how i worked that in like yeah. what i had planned on doing later but uh oh boy yeah well so this, anyways but i did have one other you know i'm already irritable though from fasting I do you know. really want to do you really want to go there yeah, but do you really want me irritating you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want you to rub my feet. I want you to okay. give me a foot rub. Back. Foot okay, rub, go. foot rub, and then I can game. With pro 20 minutes on each foot. 20 minutes each foot. Deal. Okay, deal. Shake. Deal. Shake okay. It. Wait, but I did have one other real, real great perk about being married. Okay. Especially me. Yeah. You know, uh, it is so, so nice that I have a. a beautiful lovely wife who is just kind of like a maniac about getting things done and stuff and so all the shit that i don't want to do she inevitably does it yeah. and so i have basically a personal assistant it's who's true. going to me the notorious stressor i yeah. know i have a list already made after this i have to call our landscaper because i told you to do that i texted him already did you call him though no i didn't no so I'm going to call him okay. <laughs> and then I have to call because our stove is broken and I need to freaking UPS. That drop. was crazy. Yeah. Right before we came in here, we had our stove hit broke. Uh, well, and listen to this. Let me just vent about like yeah. some of our real life problems. Vent, baby, so vent. let me go. So whoever installed our range, which it's all the same company because we bought the stove, our fridge, all of our appliances came from the same company. Yeah. So when they installed the hood... Yep. They didn't install the vents correctly. So the vent suddenly, and it's like a thick, um, maybe aluminum or titanium, I don't know, steel, knows, something, some steel. sort of stainless yeah. steel metal. Uh, the vent heavy drops, yeah. lands on our cooktop and shatters the whole which thing. Which we have a conduction like glass The glass cooktop. top, yeah. which I know gas, natural gas stoves are better, but we don't have that option here in Florida. Anyways um or at least where we live yeah so uh drops shatters our cooktop brand new stove of course we're like slightly out of warranty so we have to pay out of pocket which yeah whatever i which i should call and complain and say you guys didn't install it correctly 
doesn't matter. Whatever. I just want it fixed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I call, make the appointment. The soonest appointment was two weeks in, you know, in advance. Yeah. Make the appointment. The guy is, you know, appointment day comes. It's a five hour window. So I sit at home waiting all day for the guy to show up. Calls one time. I miss the call because I just assume it's spam. Yeah. I immediately call back. No answer. Call back. No answer. Because I'm like, okay, I'm waiting for this person. Then I just get an email saying your appointment was canceled because the uh, installer couldn't verify that you were home. Yeah. Like, well, you didn't come to my house and you didn't show up. I confirmed the appointment four times through email, through text, confirm, confirm, confirm. I'm going to be home. And then I just because I missed one phone call, you canceled the whole thing. And I called him back 25 times. Yeah. And then I texted him. Legitimately 25 times. No, I called him 25 times. And then I texted him and I said, like, I called you back. Like, my appointment window is still for another, like, two hours. Yeah. And, of course, they just never respond. So we get it rebooked. And I made sure I put in the notes, cooktop shattered, need new cooktop, not usable, can't use it. Of course, then the guy shows up. He's like, oh, yeah, I have to just verify that you need a new part. I have to just verify yeah. that you need a new stove. Like, well, I put in the notes that it was shattered. Yeah. So he comes, looks at it. Oh, yeah, you need a new one. All right, we'll reschedule you in here for like two weeks. They still haven't called to schedule that appointment. Yeah, well, they're coming Tuesday, but. <laughs> but that leads the, to what happened. Yeah, the yeah. shitty thing is they sent the new cooktop to the house in the mail. The packaging was like unreal. No. There wasn't like any protection on this glass and anyways, shows up shattered. Shattered yeah, glass cooktop. So. so it's going to be a minute until we can use our stove. Yeah. But um, I want to hear your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Let me talk about one. The worst parts about being married. <laughs> Ooh, you're going to start with worst. Okay. Let's go. Um, one. Let's go. I'm ready. Somehow my responsibilities have gone... <laughs> from the normal thing yeah <laughs> like i was responsible for me in my life now i'm responsible for you and your finances yeah and your credit score and can i tell you one other thing to vent about yeah i went to the bank yesterday to cash a check yeah my check did they let me cash it no because they wanted you there because you're the primary on our bank account I'm the man. apparently i'm the man and it was your phone number that's the main they had to like because they don't cash very many checks yeah they needed to call the phone number on the account to verify yeah. and it's like i don't go into the, i literally never go to the bank but wouldn't let me cash a 40 40 check it was 40 dollars because you needed to be there what do you what what's the one thing you always threaten me with too i don't know when i'm being when i'm bad when i'm being naughty but <laughs> i don't know i don't want to say it I send you back to your mom <laughs> My mom lives in Alaska. I'm gonna, I am going to ship send my you. ass back to Alaska. I'm going to send you back to your mom. Send me back to my mom. Uh, so My, my res- mom would love that, by the way, because she's, you know. She'd get sick of you. Yeah, she would. But, <laughs> uh, but I'm her firstborn. And, yes. You know, okay, so boy. marriage. Somehow my responsibilities have doubled. Okay. Um, I would say that. It's is- your fault for being so responsible, but go ahead. <laughs> I'm, I am crazy. Um. Oh, this I wrote this down last night. Okay. So this is a pet peeve of, that you do. Um, okay, I want to hear the good stuff too. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> right, lay get, it on. Lay this one there. on me too. This one's funny. Okay. And it's because we were watching a basketball game last night. Yes. An important basketball game. A very, a important. very, very important game. The game gets to five minutes left. Do you know how much can happen in five minutes? Yeah, but let me let me say uh, one thing because I want to give a shout out because I love the shout outs. You know. Yeah. Uh, the game was between uh, my alma mater, Nanilchik High School, uh-huh. very small, small little, uh, you know, school in Alaska. The head coach is my brother-in-law, who's married to my sister, who impregnated her with three beautiful old <laughs> what nieces a and nephews. creepy thing to say about your sister. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> that was so creepy. My brother-in-law, who is also my best friend, you know, we talk all the time. Yeah, uh, but who's your best friend? Jesse or Nick? Well, you. You're my best friend. But. Oh. Uh, cute, but... I'll take them out. Uh, yeah. But, and then also, so Nick, the head coach of Ninilchik, my alma mater, is playing my other best friend, my childhood best friend, who I grew up with, Jesse Lehman. And uh, he coaches a high school team in uh, Oregon, in Drain, Oregon. So they had fundraised, got money, flew to Alaska to go play. And uh, anyways, they had their game, in which Nick and Jesse are also best friends as well. You know, it's a big 
little threesome. Yeah, um, you guys got a real. Three. But we got John too, John Matson. We got a foursome going on. We got on. a foursome. Anyways, uh, yeah, big game last night. They played. So they play each other. This is what probably the most important game in our family because yeah. your two best friends are playing each other. Their yep. their teams are playing each other. Yes. You turn off the game at five minutes left. Well, I didn't turn the game off, and uh, you said, "Oh, we can turn that. We can turn this off and put on the office." Well, it, and it wasn't five. It was like two minutes left. It, uh, it was looking as if Nick's team was, you know, was going to win, which they was did. But you're also leaving out a very important part of this. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. It was 2 a.m. in the fucking morning. It was 2 a.m. And I had to be up for practice. (laughs) Yes, it was 2 a.m. It was 2 a.m. But this isn't the first time you do this. Same thing when we're watching the Jags game. I am trying so hard to be a Jags fan for you. And I like to see the full (laughs) storyline. Like I like to see the whole game play out. You'll be watching the Jags game. You'll switch to the red zone, switch to a different game. And it's like, can I just watch one fucking game? Yeah. I want to get into it. I want to see the storyline play out. And I want to watch it from beginning to end. I want to watch the watch them hug each other or pull a Mahomes and cry at the end. <laughs> like, I want to see the drama. Yeah, but he, here's the deal. When, you, when you've invested, when you have strategically invested in these players, their sports cards... You have to follow all the games, you know? So, <laughs> you know, I don't have many uh, Jaguar defensive player cards. So you so only watch when they're on when offense? They're, yes, when they're on offense. Yeah, then but- I can switch over and watch my boy Brock Purdy ball out and see my a, card go up that means and, you're not a true fan of the jags then no i am this is yeah but then i also i play a lot of fantasy football so i still have the you know i've got i'm following the games on my phone too and it's all strategic but i i get it yeah, i will say I sunday in our house is you on your phone and you have the red zone on one tv a game on another tv probably got my ipad out your too. ipad's yeah. out doing something yeah and then what do you know? I'll get a text and say, hey, you want, you want a game? You want a game? <laughs> and then I'll be gaming too. And then all of a sudden, I'm left in the Gosh. living room by myself watching the red zone. The last thing on earth I want to watch. And then I look up and I'm, you're gone. I'm such a piece of shit. And you're playing <laughs> video games. And it's like, what has my house turned into? You know what? Hopefully you hopefully you don't ever decide to leave me and like wake up one day and realize, what am I doing? Because... <laughs> I'm proving that you know uh, I I'm probably the- not going to have very many uh, people who <laughs> too many you know women want to be with used me. used to do on Sunday? What? Go hiking. Yeah. And go to the beach, go to the dog park. Oh, babe, go hiking here. <laughs> you can, there's nowhere to hike in Florida. No hills in Florida. There is not hills yeah. in Florida. Um, oh, yeah. Wait, I'm supposed to talk about the good, the good stuff, too. Yes. Yeah, come on. Okay. I did that last week. Last episode, I pumped you well, up. Well, pump me up more. No. Pump me up today. What's the good part about being married? Well, um, I get sex almost whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> um, your face is really nice to look at. That's it? <laughs> this is the extent of... Being married, <laughs> okay. what makes you happy? Hold on, let me pull up my last episode. The best parts of being married? Love story episode six. Um, No, last week I talked a lot. Okay, no, let me... Uh, seriously, though. Yeah. Um, I love you. <laughs> okay, here we go. I found it. Okay. Um, Why I'm the lucky one. Oh, okay. I did, yeah, you did the you lucky know, one. I did okay. this all last yeah, week. Yeah, that's true. Right. One, you get out of bed and you give me absolutely anything I need whenever yeah, I need it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you clean the house and you had a cocktail waiting for me at photo shoot. Gotcha. Do I need to remind everybody? No. Yeah, we got it. We you, got it. I am really special. Okay. You also made me fat though. Oh, shut it up. It's true. When you're happy, you get fat. Oh, shut it. You do the laundry. You didn't notice my weight gain, although you caused no. it. Um, because I love, I love this little doggy that you... You love my son. Yeah, I love this little fucker He is so our much. son now. Yeah. He's just a baby. He turned... He's... He's doing good. He's a good podcaster. Yeah, he is. He's he plays really here. Good. Um, yeah. You're, okay. Okay, you're a good husband. Okay. You wash my clothes. So this segment was more me. The, the yeah, I feel like this is returning the favor. Okay, just returning the favor. All right, what do you got next for you? Um, okay, so I wrote down some other funny things. I don't know why I I like sometimes I get in these like podcast modes and I'm like, yeah, that's. 
that needs to be said. Yeah. I'm going to say it okay. but before I get into our relationship questions. Okay, cool. I have, but um, so we're driving. Yeah. You know I have road rage. Oh, the worst. Obviously. You're gonna get you're gonna get me killed one day. No. Okay. I'm I stay protected. Um, so we're driving. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. We're driving. And I came to the conclusion, which I think everybody can agree with or yeah. has had this thought at one point. Yeah. So we all say there needs to be two horns in a car, right? Yeah. The like fuck you horn. And the like, beep, beep, light screen, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, no, I decided there needs to be three horns. Yeah. So one's the emergency horn, like, ah, move, I'm about to give birth. Yeah. Emergency. Um, There needs to be the sweet horn that's like, oh, boop, boop, it's your turn, Please go ahead. Move. Or yeah. like, beep, beep, hope you're having a good day, like wave to a yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then there needs to be a fuck you bitch, like that horn. Yeah. Like, like you're an asshole, you're driving like an asshole that horn yeah i agree three horns yeah because inevitably if someone honks at me i'm getting angry yeah i think like I most think of like, us yeah typically you're like that better not be for me like, <laughs> yeah that even, better not i think be. i literally just said that a Today. little bit when i was driving like that better not have been they directed towards better me. not be honking at me yeah uh yeah i mean even you know i i would say most of us are guilty at Sometimes we'll pull our phones out at red lights and and uh, yeah. it turns green where, you know, and someone honks a little bit and it just pisses me it off. Even though I'm the one off. in the room, I'm punching below the belt. Well, well, okay. Okay, this is bad. This is a funny thing I used to do in high school. Yeah. When I would have like my friends behind me. Yeah. Or I mean, in it, there would also be a whole line of cars behind me. Uh, sorry. Uh, I would... Uh, sit at the light when it turned green and i would stay there until it turns yellow and oh, then i would geez, go yeah. so then my friends would get stuck at the light yeah that's that's enough to that's naughty yeah that's that's really that'll naughty. get you shot in florida in florida that'll probably get you shot yes so three horns would be ideal yeah i like it i think so yeah yeah because i do get angry when people honk at me yeah so okay I got some questions for you. Okay, let's do it. But I think my road rage has like seriously gotten better since we've been together. I am less angry person. I disagree. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, I disagree. <laughs> okay, I have relationship questions from the fans. We're playing on the ropes. Okay. They want to put us on the ropes. A lot of these are really inappropriate. I mean. Obviously. Does not surprise me. Doesn't surprise me either. Um, we don't have to do all the sex questions. We can get into like the real relationship ones, but okay. we'll do a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Okay. This is really good. Okay. Um, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. What are the specificities of your relationship? How does it work? Um, we're married. Um, and yeah. And we are a husband and a wife and we do husband wife things. Um, yeah, but I would say... I would sp say like to get specific, uh, you are definitely like I've been saying most of this podcast. You're the responsible one. So when okay. it comes to like doing our taxes, yep. shit like that, the stuff that uh, the comes the the things that keeps us out of like federal prison, like taxes and yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, you you uh, you're very good at doing that stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, and you. Um, make me feel loved. Yeah. <laughs> you support me. I do. I do the, uh, laundry. I'm, I'm not going to say like superficial, but I do the, I do, yeah, I do the, you know, I do the everyday stuff. I'm in no, I'm not a handyman. I'm not a, uh, I'm the handy woman. Yeah. I love fixing you, things. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're fit. I'm honestly, I'm setting myself up to, no, I better just have you the rest <laughs> of my life. Cause <laughs> you're a living comedian. I am a little, I am. Make yeah. me laugh. I would say I'm underrated. Live in funny. masseuse. Yeah. When I want you to cook, you do cook for me. Yeah. You're yeah. good. Yeah. Good cook. Yeah. Which I, I mean, I would say I cook. Well. You've, lately you've been cooking. I cook a lot. Yeah. I mean, I cook for myself a lot because you, you don't, you don't want to just eat meat and vegetables. No. You know, you have <laughs> eggs and a potato every day. Pretty much. Yeah. Eggs and I shred a potato. I've perfected. I've gotten to a spot 
which sucks. I literally just saw in my head like, damn, as soon as we're done filming, I'm, I'm going to make my hash brown. I've perfected my hash brown. Uh-huh. And so, yeah, I'm really into, uh, you know, I shred, shred up my potato, dice up my onion, do my hash brown, and then uh, eggs. So, yes, I yeah. do do that every day. I'm going to let you ask the questions. Okay. I wanted to hold Dennis. How do y'all deal with jealousy? You know what? We kind of talked about this. Oh, um, okay, yeah, yeah. A Did while we? ago, I would say you don't get that jealous. Um, no. I don't either. I think there's... Um, what? <sighs> what? Do you not get that jealous? Do I? Okay, maybe a little... May, you know what? I, I will... Honestly, yes, you really don't as much now. Earlier on in our relationship. Well, early in our relationship, yeah, because I just believed all men are cheating scumbags. Until you met me. And you proved yourself, and now five years in, I don't spy on you. I don't go through your phone when you're sleeping anymore. (laughs) (laughs) This is true. (laughs) Like I used to. Yeah, yeah. Um, No, I, I... Yeah, the jealousy, I would say... This would probably <laughs> fit more towards asking me, how do y'all deal with jealousy? I, I would assume because, I mean, you're you and you're yeah. beautiful and sexy and, you know. I think you're sexy. Well, you think that, but you legitimately could have any man in the world. And and uh, anyways, how do I deal with the jealousy mm-hmm. is truthfully, you, you're the one who, you know, makes it. So I'm not jealous because you, you never give me a reason to feel jealous. And, and I think that's like, I think that's part of jealousy is, you know, yeah. your significant other, whether they respond to the, you know, whatever. Well, and I think that, that a big thing that why jealousy starts is a lack of communication. Yes. And then there is a lack of like just general trust Yeah, where, you don't trust the person and then you're going to start getting jealous. It's like all of a sudden your phone starts ringing in the middle of the night. I'm definitely never curious who it is because I know exactly <laughs> who, it's Nick. Who's, who's calling <laughs> it's Nick. Nick. Yeah. But like, so there used to be things that like, um, would be like quote unquote red flags. And then yeah. until you ask questions and you find out what they truly are, yeah, then you're like, Oh, okay. I'm not jealous. Yeah. That's because good... there's times you, okay. I'll, tell you exactly what i'm thinking so there would be times you'd be on the phone with nick and you'd come over to pick me up or i'd walk in the room and you just say to nick you'd be like gotta go bye and you'd hang up yeah and it's like you were just being respectful of me by saying like hey my wife's here i gotta go yeah but you just say like i gotta go bye and then i would just assume you were talking to a female yeah no i get that yeah being secretive yeah uh, well first off i i I am not a big fan of talking on the phone. I, I hate talking on the phone. You and Nick talk on the phone like hours every day. Yeah, but because he calls me, which I, Nick, if you're listening, I do <laughs> love talking to you, but I'm just not a big talker on the phone because I like most, a lot of the time, I mean, I'm around you and I don't want to be like talking mm. on the phone with you right there. Yeah, yeah. Because, 99% of the time we're talking about sports shit and talking about football cards and yeah. like our fantasy football league and, and all That's that. True. So, you know, I know not really super interesting stuff for you, but, um, I'm super into sports now. No, you are. Yeah. And you're actually really into cards. Oh, you pulled too. a downtown last night. You pulled the downtown. I did. Travis kept, Travis Kelsey. Oh, of course. Oh, no way. What are the chances? We pulled a Travis. We call, pulled a Mr. Swift card downtown last downtown night. Downtown last night. Really big. If you guys are any of the listeners who are into sports card out of Donruss, we pulled a uh, international downtown. International I think it's downtown. like a Mexico theme. and uh, The card's cool. Ultra rare. Yeah, really cool card. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, as far as jealousy... Um, I mean, if someone were to ask me, like, if someone came up like, hey, you know, are you sure that Paige is into you and stuff? It would like, (laughs) there wouldn't be a question. I know she's obsessed. Like, and I can say it here. Like, I know you're obsessed with me because you, you know, you make me feel that way. And whether you are or you aren't, I trust that you are. And I believe that you are because you show me every day. And so always want that body. Yeah. And that's, that's what, uh, that, that definitely is, you know, 
when it comes to jealousy and stuff, I just, I don't get jealous because yeah. you don't give me a reason to feel jealous. All right. You know, I want to. Next question. I know you do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this next one's hilarious. I'm assuming this one's for me. Have you ever had a let? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Have you ever had lesbian? <laughs> yeah, I'm a lesbian. Um, let's see. Let's see. Does Austin lick or worship your feet? Yes. He's new into the foot stuff. What? Can I not be honest? <laughs> I was going to say, not necessarily no, but we did have a situation so, recently. We had a situation recently. We were making love. Yes. I don't know what happened. My feet ended up in your mouth. (laughs) It seemed like we both liked it. It seemed like you really liked it. It Yeah. But we can, we can, we'll, we'll uh, go on from there. You loved it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You'll be worshiping my feet later. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, (laughs) let's see. You want me to pick one? Yeah. Good heavens. I mean, my fans. I would say <laughs> so 95% of these are about feet. Those naughty little feet. Who's the better driver? You or Austin? And oh, then I'll let you pick. Oh, me. Are you kidding me? You are like a baby slug when you drive. <laughs> okay. It wasn't who's... The question wasn't who's the fastest driver. I'm, it was who's the better I'm driver. I'm a better driver. I'm fast. I'm like a nah, NASCAR she driver. She's, she's a better driver. I zip. For sure. Mm, mm, mm. I'm sl- I, I am a slow driver. I'll tell you why, too. Because okay. say we're navigating somewhere. Yeah. I'm in the far left lane. Yes. I need to be in the far right lane. Yeah. To turn. Yeah. I will make it happen. There yeah, is without true. a question. There is without a doubt. I'm getting to where I need to go. And everyone else can suck it. I i'm i'm coming in and i'm coming in hard yo this is facts this is facts you if you're in the far left lane but you need to turn right in like five miles you're panicked of how you're gonna get over yeah i like to know i like to know a good like five miles before i need to (laughs) you need to pick a lane (laughs) so i can slowly start inching my way Uh, over yeah i'm not a good i mean no i'm not a bad driver i'm just not like you're not an aggressive driver. I'm not an aggressive or... driver. And I don't like to... I'm not... No. I I am not a... Uh, you know what? Driving... <laughs> driving makes me so sleepy. Even really? if I'm the one driving. Yes. Being in a car like... That's weird. Uh, so if you ever need me to take a nap, just go put me in the car <laughs> like and ba- drive. Yeah, drive around the block a few times. You're I'll, like a baby. I'll, yeah, I'll take a nap. It makes Dennis fall asleep too. Yeah. Okay. Um, makes my four-year-old nephew as well. <laughs> yeah. If we want to change subjects, um, first fart. Yeah, well, I know <laughs> yours. I do too. <laughs> I'm assuming first fart in front of each other. Yeah, I would yeah. assume the first fart in front of each other. I don't think other. I ever was too, like, that nervous uh, stuff. I don't think so, but this is a funny one. Let me set the, let me set the mo. The, okay. Let me set the tone. This yeah. is the first time I farted in front of my husband. Uh, we are just dating each other. Yeah. We are in the back of one of our coach's cars and we were on our way to go fishing. And we recently, we're, we're obviously we're dating each other. Things are good. Yeah. Uh, super in- intimate. We're, you know, we're definitely a couple. Yeah. So we're leaving his house and we're headed to the fishing spot. It's early in the morning. We just had our coffee. We're cuddled up in the back and you said, I think I'm falling in love with you. Yeah. And I said, I know I love you. Yeah. And then I farted <laughs> <laughs> on accident. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but you kept remind- telling me that you didn't smell it and that you never smelled it. I, yeah. I don't, I don't think I ever. Did it was I smelly. Smell? It was a little stale. I didn't smell it. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. But anyways, that was the first time. The first yeah. time I farted in front of you was also the same day. You told day. me like right at, you told me a couple days later. Yeah. yeah. It was the same day that we said we loved each other. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you farted in front of me? I no, because it just isn't something that I was really, really? too concerned yeah. about. Yeah. Um, my timing was definitely a little bit 
Yeah, you could have worked on your <laughs> Unpleasurable. Timing. Yeah. As a com- comedian, you could have worked on your comedic timing. I could have, yeah. Um, okay. How can you tell if a woman likes you or is interested? So oh. I don't know if you're going to be able to answer that because yeah. I was interested with in you and you had no idea. Again, facts. Facts, yeah. yeah. I would say, um, gosh, I mean... How did I show that I was interested in you? Maybe I wasn't that good at showing it. No, I just think, I think, again, I, I've talked about before. It's like the idea that, you know, little me from Nanilchik, Alaska, Nanilchik's got like 500 people in it. Like, could be, could a, a woman of your stature, you know, Paige Van Zant, be into this little old, Austin, you know, Little and I just, Austin. yeah, I, I don't know. I guess it was just, uh, it, it, yeah, it was tough. I mean, legitimately, you could have had any man in the world for the most part, and you know, you picked me, and uh, yeah, it was just hard to, it was like hard to fathom. Hmm. And so, even though the signs were there, and I had people tell me, like, Man, she's pay, into you. Dude, Paige is into you. It's like, no, she's not, you know. And, and uh, yeah, so I think you are probably good at it. I'm just. Okay. Yeah. So I guess for everybody else, just assume they're into you and go for it. Yeah, I think that's probably the right? best advice to give. Yeah. Um. Okay, there's a few on here that are interesting. Okay. Um, so. Gosh, this one, I feel like it, it's... Okay, when's the proper time to tell your significant other about wanting to be a parent? Oh, damn. Okay. So that's a hard one for me because I feel like... Well, actually, I don't know. I, I guess we have the kid and the parent. We're like, we have the... We have that talk. Yeah, for pretty sure. Pretty often. Yeah, we do. Just like, all right, when are we thinking? When are we going to have kids? I guess it's because we're just in that age range. Yeah. That it's like, you know, like... It's oh, like... I, Okay, we should be thinking about this in the next couple of years. <laughs> next like, couple right? years, yeah. we should probably start thinking about this. So I, I just neither of us are in that place where it's like, okay, we want to have a kid right now. So yeah. So I don't know how I guess we're gonna approach that, but I don't either. But we're pretty open with each other. Yeah, I think so too, and I think we're definitely on the same page too. Where yeah. if you know, if next week you're like oh shit i'm pregnant yeah then we'd be eh, well, like, okay great okay, yeah let's awesome. do it yeah then it's time um we're definitely not trying to have kids at all so yeah. it's like we're, we're careful and you know all that but but if it were to happen we'd be happy and i i hate to like say it because it is so cliche but i mean no time is ever really like the right time right no but but on at the same token you know I hate to bring this up too, but I really think, you know, your parents having you guys at such a young age, you know, your parents it's, are no longer together. It has definitely mm. steered me away from having kids young. Yeah. For because sure. I do really, as an outsider, like looking at your parents' relationship, I feel like, you know, and I think this is true that they, they both probably feel like they missed out on a lot on a and lot. they want to do these things now that they don't have you guys at home. Well, and, and I think that they probably stayed in a unhappy marriage based on the fact that they had kids for sure. and it was like, Oh, we're going to stay together for the kids, stay together for the kids. Now we never even have to think about that. Yeah. We've been, so my parents to put it in perspective, got married and uh, my mom was pregnant at her wedding. Yeah. Um, so they had kids immediately after yeah. They um got married. We've been married going on six years now. Yeah. So it's not like we're in my parents were so young. My parents were so young. They were nineteen and you know, nineteen and twenty, got together in high school. So Damn, by the way, six years. It, it just we are not the newlywed. We're like we're seasoned. We're like seasoned vets. Couple. We're like but, uh, that old married couple. But yeah, you're I guess it's too late to compete on the newlywed game. Yeah, yeah, we, we passed that. But um yeah, you know, and then but as far as, you know, having the conversation and you know, I think it, it, as much as it sucks, I think, you know, having your finances and it, it, important stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, Dennis is Dennis's little leg is shaking. Yeah, he's sleeping, dreaming. Um you know, having that conversation of, you know, financial stability, you know, stuff like that, I think is probably 
something you guys should agree on before. Absolutely. Um. All right. Ooh. Thoughts on your spouse or significant other no longer wanting sex and not wanting to satisfy you. That's interesting. That I think is that it has. A, I think that question has a lot of factors to it. It yeah. depends. Like, all right, I, you can't. <laughs> yes <laughs> this isn't funny okay so sometimes sometimes you're not in the mood <laughs> as often as i'm in the mood yeah. you can't always yeah. like it, okay so like say i want to have sex like five times a week yeah you're training you're got all this stuff going on yeah you turning me down or saying like not now or not being in the mood doesn't mean you're not interested in me 100 yeah. percent. so i think there's a time factor to this like yeah. All right. Or let's say that if we're having sex and you refuse to ever like satisfy me, it's all about you. Then you're yeah. a selfish lover. And then that's that's a problem, too. Yep. And I think there's a time factor like, all right, if a week, two weeks goes by a month, depending on how long you guys have been married for in a relationship for, then it's like, yeah, there's something you should probably there's something you need to work through. Well, I think th I think it, you know, and this is just my own opinion, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, not even just my own opinion, but mm -hmm. there needs to be some sort of communication as well yes. and, and talking. And again, being cliche, communication is the is, most important part. About, oh, it's huge. Yeah, like, which is what I think that, you know, something that we do well and something mm -hmm. that all like praise about our relationship is we do really communicate and yeah and, almost uh, too like almost <laughs> almost too much almost, i don't know yeah like almost i share fault, but yeah. everything that's on my mind i share absolutely everything that i'm going through my, all of my emotions and my feelings and but like way better to do that than to bottle everything up and you know and then find the root of okay you know you guys you haven't had sex in a month like what's the deal what's going know? on and, mm -hmm. yeah because it, it could be something other than you know well it could be outside factors it could be stress it could be yeah. like so many things that are not like relationship ending yeah it could be something so trivial but it has to have communication like yeah. otherwise like there'll be times where it's like i won't feel sexy and i'll just be like oh i feel like you don't love me anymore i feel like yeah. I'm and then i have to realize you know after we talk it through then you're real then i realize like oh it's just me i'm having issues that i need to work on that have nothing yeah. to do with you it's um but yeah communication yeah you gotta communicate yeah have to um okay this oh this is a good one okay do you believe in soulmates oh I'll answer first. Go ahead. Because I've actually really thought this through. Yeah. So I would say for the majority of my life, whenever I was asked if I believed in soulmates, I said no. Yeah. Because I just feel like relation at the time, I felt like relationships are two imperfect people trying to live a perfect life. Yeah. And you can like become soulmates by, you know, obviously since we've been together, I've changed, you've changed, we're more like a unit yeah right where yeah. we've grown and become soulmates yeah i used to think that okay so like i used to think that you could just make it work and become soulmates with whoever you choose as your partner yeah now <laughs> that we've been together for so long now i'm like no like we were meant for each other yeah like nothing else makes sense like yeah. the way our paths ended up together the way we found each other the way that your attributes work with my faults the way that we really just work yeah it doesn't it's not like it's not like we just grew to to work together and like yeah there's effort in our relationship and we work hard to of course yeah. there's of course there's work but there's specificities of who we are as people yeah that make me feel like we're meant for each other, I guess. Yeah, I because I think I think uh, you know, is like you said, as much as we work or as much as we have grown together in in aspects of you know ourselves as persons and together in the relationship, that we definitely both went into the relationship 
being specific people and Mm -hmm. and uh you know and it working out like if it makes sense you know like i've always been you know i'm a procrastinator and and Mm -hmm. i've always you know had (laughs) this like (laughs) big heart for things and to a fault where you know i can kind of like get in some shitty situations because that where is you know and i it just uh both of us mesh together and and it works and and uh no i agree i think like if you think about where we got to or where we came from to get to where we were at like there's no way that it could have just happened by right some just you know random situation random. and yeah. so That's yeah i, I do too. i believe in in soulmates yeah. and i i believe that you know if i would have been a point guard for the los angeles lakers you probably would have been a cheerleader I for probably him probably would have or somehow yeah. somehow our cross paths would have crossed and we would have found each other maybe a point guard i might have been giving myself a little too much credit <laughs> maybe okay maybe i was like Maybe I was like a running back. Yeah. Maybe I was. Maybe I was a running back for the Jacksonville yep. Jaguars, and and uh, and you were a cheerleader yep. there. So I, I could. Yeah. Maybe a running back. Yeah. In a different life, that's what we would have done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Ooh, how do we keep it spicy in the bedroom? I feel like that's something we haven't had to work on yet. No, I don't either. Yeah, I think um, we've been. Yeah, even six and a half, <laughs> seven years, or however long we've been together. Yeah, I think we're very lucky. That's not something that we've had to actively work on. Yeah, um, we're pretty spicy. Yeah. I think that also comes with like being open and honest with each other. Bam! That's exactly what I was gonna say. D- again, communication and talking yes. about, you know, because the thing is, is you know, if you get to that point where it's like stale, everything's stale or whatever, and you're not communicating like, you know, your wants or mm-hmm. my wants, it yep. could be different. And, you know, if we bring that to the table and we talk about it and one of us is like totally against it and it's like a deal breaker, then, you know, then what yeah. I don't really know what, you know, it's like. It's a, yeah. And it's about being open and honest and like yeah. truly I guess, yeah, being honest about your needs or wants or desires. And it's like we can, I don't say an experiment. It sounds so weird. Yeah. Um, but we're just like, I don't know. We're open. Yeah. We have fun. I tell like, I just, for me, I feel like our sex life literally only gets better. Yeah. Like it just keeps getting better. Yeah. And. I don't know. Try <laughs> sticking her big toe in your mouth or something. <laughs> kissing her feet <laughs> shove a toe and shove a toe in your mouth and then yeah. see if it gets a little spicy um okay Ooh, we don't have that someone asked three celebrities that are on our freebie list uh, we don't do freebie lists nah. there are really uh yeah no freebie lists yeah no freebies mm. are we competitive with each other yes <laughs> yes yes but i would say you're more competitive with me than i am with you it's true fact we just got in a little scuffle earlier this week did we yeah because i turned the burners on on the end of the run well that was rude we are supposed to be going for a run together and i was cruising at my set and speed i like going for runs it's my new thing and then we're supposed to be running together like oh we're so in love we're this which we did for most couple. of it yeah and then you turn the corner and just freaking book it yeah but because i i was trying to like really get my heart rate up finish the wrong the run strong i was right with you we crossed we found a turtle that needed to be saved we saved the turtle together who we put saved the, the turtle you did i saved the turtle which you know what now that i think it did you wash your hands when we got back you were touching that reptile and they carry salmonella I didn't touch its mouth. anyways yeah uh yeah so yes we are very competitive ipso facto, so we get back from the run i you know finish first because because i wasn't competing I'm fast fast as fuck boy and uh anyways and we we get back and you were a little upset with me for a while well, yeah because I, I was like thanks for just leaving me to get run over by a car 
taking mind, guys, we were like a quarter mile away from the house <laughs> when I decided to turn the. I could see our house when I turned the burners on, but <clears throat> but I understand. I thought it was rude. I understand. I just thought we were gonna be cute and Honey, run together understand. and like high five and like chest bump. Sweetheart, I understand. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Give me one more. Ooh, be honest. Okay. Have you and Austin almost ended it? And what made you come to your senses? No. No, we haven't. I, not that I can think of. <laughs> no. The, We've the been one in time, of course. But yeah. the one time we. Um, bad fights, but they're not that bad. No. I've never sub. I've never. You've never. I've never kicked you out of bed. No. No. The, I would say the one. It wasn't even a fight, though. It was when we were in the hot tub, and I was like, hey, you're either marrying me or. Or you're not. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was the closest. To... That was, or I guess that was just like the deciding factor. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't. I can't even think. I don't necessarily know. There's, there's been times where, of course, we fought, and I've been like, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, you know, sleep in the other room, and, uh, uh, but I never end up staying the mm. whole night in the other room, so. Oh, okay. There's two of them on here. Uh, one, it's no advice, but let Austin know that tens of thousands of people want to see his feet. Really? Yeah. People want to see your feet. I have a hard time believing that there's 10,000 people out there <laughs> want that to want to see, see feet. my feet. That's what they said. But, uh, but I will say this. Uh, I think that I have pretty nice feet. Ooh. <laughs> oh wait, no, never mind. Yeah, my heels are the heels. Kinda, they I, like to I, see I, the soles and the heels. Ah, yeah. And you have a yeah. naughty picking habit. Yeah, of I kind of pick at heels. my heel a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. This person says they're losing losing sexual interest in their girlfriend, she, oh. and she's beautiful. Is that a problem? I mean, I. I would say relationships have peaks and valleys right 100 percent. that is that's in, the truth in seasons seasons like, you're losing sexual interest like you gotta try to figure out why yeah first off um how long it lasts and communicate that like try to really figure out why you're losing sexual interest what's, yeah what's going on there's got to be something yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna uh it say something that i don't know how you'll take it when uh -oh. i say it but uh you know but i mean you, you kind of sexual interest no, in no, no 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 uh -oh. you referenced it earlier you know you definitely in our relationship are probably a little more <laughs> sexual. sexually aggressive <laughs> yeah but anyways but last week was a week where i was like kind of you were horny yes all like a lot and you told me you're like yeah, I'm sorry, babe. I'm just not as, you know, less horny <laughs> the past couple of days. Pa past couple of days. We had a lot of stress. And you we were had like, a lot of shit going on. And yeah. you, pan you panicked. You're like, are you okay? Not really. No, I didn't really panic that much. Okay. But, but, it, but the communication. And I, yeah. I, I listened to that and I was like, okay, you know, I get it because I've been there. Like I, I've been more often, obviously, than you. I've been the one where it's like, you know, babe, fuck, I just got done, <laughs> just I just got done working out for two hours at the gym and like, you know, so, uh, I think again, the communication, I'm also curious to know how long you guys have been together. Cause yes. you know, if it's, it's your girlfriend, it's not a fiance. So I'm assuming you guys haven't been together for a super long mm -hmm. time and not that it is, that's a make or break, but, yeah. um, but you know, maybe try to to get to the the root of of this so mm -hmm. yep all right Ooh, gosh lots of sex questions yeah oh someone says my makeup looks terrible well Yikes. they're wrong you look I gorgeous think it looks great. you're sexy thank you okay all right i got one more for us okay and then last one yeah we'll... let's do a last last one okay um okay maybe two more Sorry. and i'll go eat a bowl of ice <laughs> I'm hungry. I know I am too. I might get panda Okay, one after more this. and I'm gonna go eat a bowl of ice. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I'm in a new city at thirty years old and okay. I've tried dating apps. Any advice? Oh. That is a hard one for us. I've never I never experienced dating, dating apps. apps. I never yeah. No. 
I've been lucky enough. Obviously, we met at the gym, so yep. meeting organically. I can't give a ton of advice on dating apps because I, I haven't been on them either. Yeah. Um, got a lot of buddies who are. <laughs> same. I got a lot of friends who are on dating apps. So I don't know. I guess Gosh, if you're I'll, I'll tell s- you. Oh, mm. sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt, but uh, I will tell you this. I've got a lot of buddies who are on it, and none of them have girlfriends from the dating apps. Yeah. So. Okay, so this is my advice, and I heard this somewhere else, so I can't claim it as my own, Yeah. but couldn't be more true. If you're looking for a relationship, just go do things you love to do Ooh, yeah. because you're going to run into, like, say you're trying to meet someone who's into hiking and nature. Go hike yeah. and meet someone hiking. Don't go to a bar hoping to meet somebody that's athletic or outdoorsy. Don't go just to bar and club scenes hoping to meet someone that's going to fit your interest unless yeah. that's your interest. Like unless you're trying to meet somebody who drinks and parties and gambles or whatever. You know what I mean? Like yeah. those social settings. Yep. If you want to meet somebody that has shared interests, yeah. just go do things you love to do. Go paint. Go to a get cooking a dog class. Get a dog park. Go to the dog park. Get yeah. a dog and go to the dog park. You want to meet somebody with your interests just go live your life that's awesome that's a good and it's yeah, yeah i, like I that couldn't a lot. couldn't agree with that more because that's cool. obviously it applies for us because i wasn't you know going out drinking yeah. to the bars to try to find somebody like of course i wanted a relationship but um but you weren't actively no like, no yeah. and i was just you know living my life and i met you at the gym i met someone that was a fighter and obviously it worked it's not saying don't keep your uh, tinder app on but yeah you know, <laughs> i mean it's still you can still swipe around and absolutely it out. but but i love that so much yeah go go do things that you're interested in and and you're more likely i think to find somebody you know you're more likely be to find exactly and, you know. you're gonna find someone that has shared interests just commonalities that you can share and you know i'm not really sure about the dating apps but i'm sure they share other things that they're interested in yeah. so yeah I love it, babe. Thank you. Awesome. I just, just, I just, I'm going to be real honest. Knowledge on everybody. Going into this, we were both hungry. We're doing our fast. Yeah. Wasn't sure the energy level, but I really enjoyed this. We did. We made it through. We did have a power outage. Florida is bracing for, they just said a a stormy few days. Yeah. We got, yeah, a little bit of storm, storms coming in. We got our dentist. He looks so cute. Got our bug a little crazy out, but I guess we're going to go. We're not you gonna go may eat. Get Panda Express. No, I can't because I'm gonna get a bowl of ice. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon you're... over the top. It's gonna be delicious. You know, because I would go eat, but your best friend Nick had to be like, "What page is doing it?" I don't think she'll do it. <laughs> oh dang! I heard that's him what... say that. Oh shoot! That's what's got you. Okay, Nick. Nick. And I'm gonna now. And I had to tell him too. I was like, "Wait, she's actually done. I've done a it long already. One. I've never. I've only gone, you know, for weight cuts. Done like twenty four, thirty okay, sorry, hours. Sorry. Last thing before we hang up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I did a poll on Instagram yesterday. Yeah. Can you have diet soda while fasting? Does that break your fast? I'm gonna just hit everyone with the knowledge, and then they can comment what they think. But so they say it was fifty fifty. Yeah. There's no calories, so no, it doesn't break a fast. Yeah is is 50 percent of the people the other 50 percent say it does cause a metabolic response yeah and it affects your gut biome so that breaks your fast yeah which is what you're trying to do through through the fast obviously we're doing you're it for, trying to reach for like reasons. a ta- autophagy or something or yeah I, i'm probably it's like not beyond ketosis right, but yeah yeah so it, if we affect your gut biome then does it make you break your fast so i'm like losing I guess the purpose for me, it's to fight cancer. It's to, you know, all the research that people have done, <laughs> which diet soda, <laughs> right? <I> mean, <laughs> oh yeah. Whoops. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And my, my opinion on it too is like, uh, you know, I, we're doing this to cleanse ourselves, get rid of everything. Like, you know, diet soda is just shit, a bunch of artificial mm-hmm. stuff. So, but I'm going to drink it anyway. I always have diet soda. That's no, my thing. No, that's true. I get, so I, like, understand. I get that. Yeah. If I have the diet soda, I could probably fast for like five days. Dang. I love diet soda. And it makes no. me feel good. It makes me feel bubbly. I mean, everyone, I gotta, everyone fasts for a different reason. So that's like, you know, when you were telling me what people were responding, it's like, 
okay, but you, you, maybe you're not necessarily fasting for, you know, to reach that, like you're fat, you're not no, eating No, the only for... reason I'm fasting is to like help my body potentially fight off cancer causing issues. Well, then I, I would say don't do the diet soda. <laughs> okay. <then>. But <laughs> other yeah. than that, what is this all for? Yeah. It's just to starve myself. Mental toughness. Yeah. I know I'm mentally tough. No, I get I punched do. in the yeah. face for a living. A hundred percent. No, I get it. All right. Yeah. Anyways. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed. Leave yeah. it on a positive note. We're going to go. Um, I'm going to go get a foot rub. And then I'm oh, in the game. Wait. Subscribe. Like. Share. Comment. Uh, email. A kickass love story at gmail.com with your who's punching below the belt. We are still waiting for I'm some. A, I'm going to punch below the belt one more time before we get off. We raise your arm one more time. Why? <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Sorry. What's that band-aid? <laughs> you gave me ringworm. <laughs> I gave her ringworm. I haven't yeah. even been at the gym and yeah. I have ringworm on my arm. Yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> I had to punch below the belt one more time. Okay. Right. Email who's email your stories of who's punching the below the belt <laughs> to a kickass love story gmail.com. Like, comment, share because we're having a lot of fun with this. Oh. We're out. We're out. <laughs> <laughs>